to be okay. Oh, it's okay for men to cheat, but it's not okay for women to cheat. I don't think it's okay for either people. Nobody. You shouldn't be cheating on each other. If you don't like each other, just say, I don't want to be in this relationship, and then move your separate ways, right? Like, that's the simple, that's the adult way to deal with things. But we're going to do the um, men should be able to cheat a bit. So, like, Start dating. Yep, oh, that's right. An obese man. Just the angry dudes of being all those TikToks like this. You throw at me. <laughs> that's that guy. She was dating that guy. But that is such a weird couple. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, is it weird for me to say that's a weird couple? Like, it's not like. My parents put him like on our lease. Aww. So that was how, like, and they like moved him in for like, he lived with us for like a month. Meanwhile, Pearl is out here humble bragging about her bagging a rich one on podcasts. Oh, he, he was a millionaire. Like, it was just like. He, he didn't know what to do with it. How did you never have a millionaire? He was on social media and I saw him. If I'm a millionaire and I'm homeless, I'm pretty sure I know what to do with some of that money. Like, that's just, that's an easy one for me. Like, I'm homeless, right? And I'm a millionaire, right? Like, these are two things that don't need a lot of hard work to solve. What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ty here. Let us uh, get this thing started. It is uh, Abba and Preach, and this is part of their ongoing war, I guess, with uh, Just Pearly Things, who they have aptly named Just Dusty Things, which is pretty funny. Um, as a man uh, not too unfamiliar with the dust himself, I don't, you know, I think it's all fun and games. I think these guys just, you know, enjoy taking pokes at her, and uh, I think that's it. I don't think they're uh, malicious or anything like that. There's nothing malicious. I think it's just a good-natured ribbing, internet ribbing, because of you know who she's portrayed herself to be. But let's dive in and uh, check it out. People think I'm encouraging cheating. No. Like, I think if a woman cheats, she's trying to leave you. If a man cheats, yes, yes, he's yes. just like, he's it's, like it's like a handshake. Yeah. <laughs> Women act like this is the most unforgivable thing, that he is the ultimate bad guy, the ultimate demon if he does this. I'm sorry, sometimes you contributed to it. And women take no accountability for that. And that he wants to go to the bar with his buddies because you make that shit a hellhole. Because you are so unpleasant to be around. Okay. Are there situations that she's talking about that are true? Yes, obviously. Like, you know, um, there are toxic people out there. But I don't know um, if breaking your partner's trust is ever really okay right like if it's not something that you've consented to or been okay with and you're just that's just i'm not in my opinion right like this is just me some people don't feel this way i just think it's disrespectful to your partner i think it's 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 not cool you know so like being okay with men cheating and being okay with women cheating i don't think anybody should cheat like i think if you don't want to be with your your partner just don't be with your partner like that's literally my philosophy is like if i don't want to be with you i'm not gonna you know sleep around like don't that there's no there's there's literally no value in that right like there's no what's the value of that um in general so to be okay oh it's okay for men to cheat but it's not okay for women to cheat. Like, I don't think it's okay for either people. Nobody, you shouldn't be cheating on each other. If you don't like each other, just say, I don't want to be in this relationship and then move your separate ways, right? Like that's the simple, that's the adult way to deal with things. But we're going to do the um, men should be able to cheat bit. So let's, let's watch her and continue. And men getting... 
hard. Mm -hmm. So if they do what's hard, it's mm -hmm. valued. If we do what's easy, it's not. I am so what? enlightened by Pearl teaching us how being a man will magically eliminate all of the consequences of cheating. You know, like breaking your trust with your partner yes. by lying to them, getting another woman pregnant that you now have to support, right, let's see, humiliating. Let's see, let's, see, let's see what she's talking about. All right, so long-term effects of infidelity are number one, brain changes, onset of depression or anxiety, post-infidelity stress disorder, never heard of that, PISD, okay, that sounds random. Uh, changes in self-esteem and self-worth. I mean, all of these just sound lack of trust in the future relationship, feeling of loss and effects on children if you have children, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, I see all of these as long-term effects of infidelity and that's not even, I mean, it's not, it's not, really, it's not really that controversial, you know? So um, I just think it's weird for people to approach infidelity that way, like in, in the sense of like, if you're not into this person, like that's my philosophy. Like if you're no longer into this relationship, you're no longer into this, say that, intimate that, and then move on with your life. Like instead of drawing it along and drag, you know, just end it and call it a day, you know? <sighs> but that's, that's just Eating your wife, causing family dysfunction and bringing home disease. The man yes. yes, it's like a handshake. That is one hell of a handshake, Pearl. And promoting promiscuity is a great way to help create the single moms that her podcast actively speaks out against. Their amazing right. strategy is they don't want to pass on resources to another man's kid. Like okay. that's why that's why they're repulsed by hoes. That's why they're they're repulsed by like other people's children. You're probably they're wondering by, by now, <laughs> where is Pearl's ring? Wait, wait, they're repulsed by other people's children. Jesus Christ, really? The way like men are portrayed, like by a lot of the red pill community, make men sound like these sociopathic, so like just complete and utter douchebags. Like, come on, like, come on, bro. Like, give it, give people that you know, like, disgusted by the. You're, why are you disgusted by a kid? It's somebody. It's a person. Like, that's just, that's a weird way to frame another human being's child or another human being, you know, but that's just me. Well, I'm here to inform you that Pearl is single and unmarried at 26 years old. <laughs> and the reason this I decided like a, to go to therapy is because um, in the next like five to seven years, ideally, you know, um, some things are out of your control, but ideally I'd like to be married. Sorry. Every time I see her talk about getting into a relationship, I just keep hearing just lonely things. <laughs> That's all I can think about. According to her, is because she is too. So their nickname for just pearly things is just lonely things, which is a play on her name, which is pretty funny. You're single over a certain age, you're probably too picky. And I say that it's because she's too picky because she claims that 28 years old is pretty old to be getting married. What do men value? Third thing men value, youth. How are they getting youth when the average age of first marriage for women in the US is 28.6 years old? And Pearl doesn't have much long-term experience in dating either. According to this interview on Yahoo News and what Pearl says online about her dating experiences on various podcasts, she's only had a couple of boyfriends. If you can do the math of her being 23 in the Yahoo interview, they couldn't have been that long considering she just turned 26 in the past couple of months. And that got me interested in knowing who is Pearl picking considering that Anytime a guy does something wrong, no matter what it is, she tells women to simply just pick better. Okay, so then you pick guys that cheat. I discovered that last year Pearl tweeted about a breakup she had, so I decided to go ahead and uh, check. The amount of research this lady did is ridiculous. Yo, how do you have time to go back and find this stuff? The archives. And it turns out that Pearl actually got catfished by an obese man with two children on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> Big better, bitch. That's <laughs> messy. She got captured by an obese man with two kids. <laughs> That's up. I'm sorry. I think I'm starting to build a crush on this monotonous girl. Mm -hmm. Baby, when did we start dating? Yep, oh, that's right. An obese man. That's that angry dude to be in all those TikToks. He'd be like this. You drawing me. <laughs> that's that guy. She was dating that guy. Yeah, that is such a weird couple. <laughs> I don't know. Is it, is it weird for me to say that's a weird couple? Like, it's not like, like, and not a race thing. It's just like a weird looking couple. This is like, but you know that they say opposites attract. So, 
Hey, to each his own, man. Hey, my man was getting it in. And with two children on TikTok. And I point out that he's obese because Pearl is constantly dunking on fat girls. Why do I need to look at your roles? And then I have to go on social media. Then boom, whale. Boom, another whale. The cherry on top. Much about other people. I mean, I get, are you being empathetic? Like, I don't, I don't get it. Like, why do you care if somebody chooses to be fat? Like, that's, it's not your business. Like, if you, if you're like a true American and you believe in the freedoms that you're like, yo, like, that's their right. That's their American right. If they want to be 600 pounds and can't walk, that's their right to do that. Let them do that, right? And it's your right to judge in silence and, you know, but I don't think it's, you should be, actively going out of your way to like try to shame people and you know, like that's not we're not in elementary school anymore but it seems every day like youtube turns into high school and middle school and you know it's just a bunch of drama and you know i was never very popular and i was kind of a loser in high school so it's a little um for me it's like grow up kind of thing so let's let's see uh how these people Continuous. is that Pearl has been pretty adamant about men having children being a deal breaker for her. For me personally, I don't, I'm not into the guys with kids. That's not my okay. thing. Instead of immediately That's breaking okay. up with him for hiding two whole children from her, she instead takes him in to live with her and her family to mooch off of them. Because he, you know he was homeless when I first met yeah. him. So I like moved him into my parents' house yeah. so he could get an ID. Too. Yeah, and so... Seems charitable. What's wrong with that? My how parents put him, like, on our lease. Aww. So that was how, like, and they, like, moved him in for, like, he lived with us for, like, a month. Meanwhile, Pearl is out here humble bragging about her bagging a rich one on podcasts. Oh, he, was, he was a millionaire. Like, it was just, like, he, he didn't know what to do with it. How did you know a millionaire? He was on social media, and I saw him. Right. If I'm a millionaire and I'm homeless, I'm pretty sure I know what to do with some of that money. Like, that's just, that's an easy one for me. Like, I'm homeless? right and i'm a millionaire right like these are two things that don't need a lot of hard work to solve you i'm just that's just just a simple man with a he lived like kind of close to me and so i made like videos saying like oh we should like hang out <laughs> She shot her shot. I hate you, bitch. I told you, you don't got much time to for this one. This shit wild, bro. She shot her shot. Yo, y'all look like... Hey, they're, they're, they're going right. through it. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> oh. They are exposing the shit out of Oh, my day. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Homeless millionaire. <laughs> Like, have you never seen those videos of girls like shooting their shots at guys no. publicly? I was on TikToks and I did a video saying, you know, when he's not doing this like comedic bit, he's actually kind of kind of fine. Like, I live in Chicago, you live in Chicago, we should like hang out. I am pretty confident that Pearl is referring to her ex Wanya in these instances name, because Wanya? Wanya is from Chicago, like the millionaire Wait, actually talks about in the video. There are multiple articles saying that Wanya was homeless when he was around 22 years old. I do find it funny that Pearl dating Wanya, or people know him as Angry Reaction was framed as her bagging a rich one. Meanwhile, he actually moved on to date a more attractive redhead, and she's still single and unmarried. It seems like her advice on lowering her standards to get married isn't working out so well for her. Pearl has the absolute audacity to tell women to pick better when she literally got catfished by some girl's obese baby daddy on TikTok. Tabarnak! <laughs> Woo! Ooh, my girl's going in. My crush is building. That's tough, that's tough. Yeah, he has a lot of followers. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that's angry reactions guy. That's the guy that like. So I saw the the one I saw that I know him from is like somebody was drawing him and he kept getting angrier. And I think that's like his his claim to fame. Like in this time that we live in, like I, I'm positive we are in a simulation. You can get famous for anything. Like this guy just was angry and he was famous like yo like the world we live in what am i doing i'm like going to school for like four years all i gotta do is be angry like yo that's hey more power to you brother man but yeah he's got a, a bunch of followers like yo this like my thing is like how does this translate to like money though like because i'm not very well versed in the the tiktoks universe so like how does this 27 like do you get brand deals are you getting sponsorships like 
somebody explain in the comments to me like how this translates into actual dollars maybe okay maybe he funnels them to youtube and then the adsense because i'm not the brightest bulb in the shed if that's the or the i'm not i'm a few fries short of a happy meal sometimes so you guys kind of kind of explains things to me so uh, let's continue but yeah this guy has a ton of followers and he looks like he's supposed to be he's like he's famous so maybe he is a millionaire if that's what these translate to first but he ended up having to mooch off of her anyway so mm -hmm. not only does she regularly dunk on obese people even taunting them in her tiktok bio before she got banned but pearl will even put all the blame on women for obesity in america just like half the obese population in america being men how can pearl dunk on fat girls so often considering that she has clearly neglected her own self-care mm -hmm. this video uh, of her is only from one uh, month ago this is just rude I'm not gonna pause. I guess Go. just... And it might surprise you to learn that she's a professional athlete. Okay, the, the thing is to say, oh, she used to be a professional athlete. There's a lot of athletes that when they stop doing their sport, like obviously like either they pack on the pounds or like some, like depending on like the sport you play, like because what happens a lot of the times is a lot of these people, they are eating and they're working out constantly, right? Like they need constant energy to fuel the sport that they're doing and if they stop doing that sport and keep eating the same way they're gonna put on a couple of pounds she doesn't even look that big she doesn't look big at all really so like i don't i don't get that jab in the grand scheme of things like i feel like that's just like like i said high school stuff it's a little petty it's a little low brow it's you know like okay it might get you some cheap laughs but like all right cool let's move on let's get some substance is she being petty? Yes. 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 Is she making points? Yes. Do I approve? Oh, Absolutely. God. Now. Damn. Just porky things. Let's keep going. And despite her lack of self-care, she still likes to spout a lot of statistics about fat women, despite being corrected on this by Destiny on her live stream. There's a lot of fat I mean, people. Fat yeah, people women, stay with women, fat people. But women by and large are fatter than men. No. Women, and if you go in the U.S., the woman's always fatter. BMI. So in the U.S., the average BMI for a man is 26.6, and the average BMI for a woman is 26.5. Oh, I stand corrected. Yikes. Carry on. But, but wait, even after he corrected her, she continued- Are there more women than men, though? So, what? I, I don't know. That might be my only, like, if there are more women than men, then her statistic might be closer to correct. Right to misrepresent the statistic. How can we say that as a whole, in the US and the West, we're good wives, when 80% of us are overweight, and that's the number one thing that men value. There's a lot of room for improvement with Western women. 70% of us are overweight. The average man makes more than the average woman, but the average woman is fatter than the average man. That's so this is, this is actually a really good one, because it shows that all these people who say the red pill is the truth or whatever, when they're given the actual accurate information they'll still go back to peddling a lie because it benefits their grips even though this is something that most people just skim past what i think it really shows is that she's a liar and she will purposefully lie and she's caught in real time lying because it benefits her audience and she can sell her product I well like i said before if she's saying that if the idea is that there's more women than men and if they're even at the same similar than on average then wouldn't that mean more women are bigger than more men since there's more women but if the i don't know like i said a few fries short of a happy meal it's been a long morning i don't know about I, it's actually the most telling thing in this whole interview in a random way or this whole video because you see her lying in real time she got the right information went back to the false information because it appeals to the people she wants to sell things I mean, that's to. everybody it's called being men valuing she's, attractiveness she's purity and youth obviously. and says in order to get a high value husband or husband at all you should be those things men value purity and youth yeah. purity youth beauty Pearl fails to meet these standards herself, despite wanting to get married so badly. Not only is she accurate on the thing, yeah. and, and she's thorough in her research, but God damn, my girls are savage. I don't even care that Pearl is unmarried. I just hate the fact that she constantly clowns other people for not being, yes. and she can't even do her own fucking thing. I agree with this point that they're making that, you know, like the problem is a lot of the times, a lot of these people giving this advice are people who don't have the experience to be giving this advice. So. It's hard to listen to advice from people who don't have the advice, but sometimes, right? Um, 
it's better to learn from the mistake of others than to learn from your mistake. So like if somebody has good knowledge on experience, right, I, I usually trust that more because they've lived that experience. And I think that's what these guys are alluding to is that, yo, if you haven't been married and you're telling people how to be married, if you haven't been a mother and you're telling people how to be a mother, like it's a little, it's a little weird fam. Like, you know, like it's like me being like, all right, I'm going to call up my doctor. I need my foot. I need like a foot surgery. And then I call up the, the, the surgeon. And I'm like, all right, let me tell you how to do this procedure. Like, yo, what school did you go to? Who are you? Why are you trying to tell me how to do something that you have no experience doing? You know, so you need to kind of take advice from people who understand the things that you, you want to do or have done it successfully to get to where you're trying to get to. You know, and it gets to a point where like, I think what they're getting to is it's like the blind leading the blind. Like, yo, you don't want to be in a position where you're following people who don't know what they're talking about because y'all just going to fall into the same hole. Y'all going to fall into the same trap. Y'all all going to be in the same place, stuck with nowhere to go. So follow the right people. Find the right leaders. Do your research. Don't be married to ink. The problem is a lot of these kids are very impressionable. And when they see some of these people and they don't understand, they can't discern some of these like their exaggerations versus reality to kind of prove a point or something like that it's harder for younger people to kind of see that and and discern the the truth and reality and you know so they'll take those things at face value when a lot of this stuff shouldn't be taken at face value you know like you should question everything you hear and read especially in this day and age like if ai has taught you anything believe none of what you see half of what you hear and maybe a quarter of what you read because all, all everything lies right like unless you're there like now it's getting to the place where unless i'm there physically at the moment in the location looking at it with my eyes touching the situation i have to kind of question it because everything can be so fake and exaggerated and phonied up like the world we living to live in right now and are getting to is becoming much more artificial and much more manufactured. Like every moment, every interaction, like these situations, these reactions, these these commentary, the things that they're talking about, it's becoming very, very, very manufactured and very, very put on for the audience. So uh, definitely be careful for that and like, be careful of that. Be very discerning, um, question everything. Um, you know, that's, that's always a good, kind of philosophy in life and find the truth for yourself if you don't know research if you don't know you know I, I never proclaim to know everything or know anything really i just try to give my perspective on things so let's keep on going and, uh, just, we're gonna to do finish wrong this work. Up but it's a bit what you said earlier like 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 you was talking about you was talking about oh uh women are being accessible because they, they always argue and stuff like that and they nag and so you're making the that's and you said that's and it is it is true. Yeah. That's her. Yeah, she's she's doing exactly that. She's the polar opposite of, of what, what she preaches. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, if I want results in life, I have to start talking. Okay, to so here's the. I I I'm not gonna I'm not here to defend. You know, um, just pearly things or anything like that. But I think the problem that we run into a lot of the times is everybody tries to play kind of gotcha and morality police there's a lot of things a lot of people in this world everybody is hypocritical about one thing or another right and to the point that you're making videos and trying to sell people on content i think it's weird like in your personal life like there's things that i'm hypocritical about like well i'm gonna work out every day every single day of this week you know and then i'm scarfing down cheeseburgers or like i'm telling people like yeah you better be working out there you know like i everybody does it like that's part of like you're a human being like none of us are perfect like we do things we lie we we, we bend the truth a little bit like not lie like you're not making it but you you embellish on things like just in general like if you say you're 100 percent honest in everything you do in every dealing you have you're a liar right and if you're proving my point but i think that to the point that like they're talking about where she's going out of her way to like bash people and talk about them when you're living this life that doesn't even match that that's kind of lame like that's 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 super lame you know like you could the problem is that people want 
views and clicks and, 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 and eyes to come to their stuff. So they're willing to say the most bombastical things to get exposed, to get exposure, to get those eyeballs. And I honestly don't think it's necessary. I think like you can do good work and feel like, all right, I'm trying to help people, but not bash people. And, you know, without going to this level, we, you know, we look like this. Boys, yeah, wife me up if you're, if you're in the London area. Oh, in terms of purity, Pearl's not a virgin. Pearl actually wanted to partake in hookup culture. But I swear to God, like, guys, don't try to sleep with me. Really? <laughs> like, 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 I swear to God, I've been on a date, and I, w I would have been dead, and you just never tried. I was like, oh, okay. And I didn't even touch me once. Yeah. You didn't touch me once, and I'm like, yeah. yeah. I don't really have guys approach me often. It, it could be the clothes. It could be the clothes. <laughs> They are flaming a motherfucker. <laughs> they are flaming a motherfucker. They're killing her. They're That's killing her. Her especially. Uh, we're just witnessing the murder with popcorn in hand. I ain't snitching on no one. We all saw it. We not seen a word to the cops. We enjoying this. Okay, what they're saying is her friend is being disingenuous. Like, cause none of your friends are gonna be like, oh, maybe it's the clothes. No, you know what it is. You know, you don't want to say it, but you know why. You know why your friend doesn't get dates. He smells funny, he looks funny, he got the weird limp, he got the weird, you know, conversational starters, he always talking about some random shit, he's on anime all 24-7 and, you know, so you know what's wrong with him, but, like, they're your homie, so you're gonna be like, who's tripping, bro, he's a, bro, bro, I'm telling you, you, you had her, you had her in a bag, no, I'm gonna wear him, bruh, if you just change this, or if you did, you know, it's not the clothes, bro. Is what the guys are saying. That just sounded me not saying she. <laughs> yeah, I say nothing. We watching this one. So according to Pearl, I guess we shouldn't be taking her advice, considering that she can't attract men even for casual encounters. I've noticed a lot of therapists are like older single women, and I'm kind of like, if you can't maintain a relationship, why would I take advice from you? <laughs> So the thing is, that's a weird, that's a weird statement to make. I like, if you don't know, then I shouldn't take, there's people who have not been married, but understand a toxic relationship when they see one. But I think it's because of her desperation and they can sense it along with her low standards. She just doesn't give off any feminine qualities. Like, I don't know, like, I'm just being honest with you. Like. Forget how I feel about her personally as a person. I can separate the two things. I've hated person I was online, but I, she fine as hell. Or I can see, Pearl has zero sex appeal. <laughs> this is what it is. That's messed up. That's why she went on a date with a dude and he didn't even try anything. It's because, eh, that's all. That's what it really comes down to. This ain't even hate or anything, this is just facts. Guys, if I'm lying, you guys get in the comments. And hey, don't be a hater, be honest. Don't say you would hit it because you haven't masturbated in three months. Like, if you had some <laughs> options in life. And I would never talk about somebody like this openly, but because she talks about desirability mm. and she can't find like, I'm gonna just tell you why you can't, is because there's zero sex appeal. That's subjective. Somebody finds, somebody probably finds her attractive. I don't know. You know, redheads aren't really ever been my cup of tea, but you know, somebody, you don't know and people, espousing these things you don't know that somebody doesn't find her attractive somebody might like that i'm mad if he cheats when it's like i picked him mm. would you accept if he's just stepping up but not uh, getting anyone pregnant are we married no you're in a relationship i think if i'm being truly honest with myself for the right guy i probably would how many times i don't know how many times does... she's basically announcing to the world hey i'm pearl i'll tolerate cheating please marry me oh, that's crazy that is facts that's like... crazy Yo, Why? you just look pathetic. Yo, dude. What? I would tolerate cheating from the right man. It's like from you would right tolerate man. somebody like betraying your trust. Nah, let let, yeah, let me trip it. But okay. Of course, saying it out loud, you trip it. But do you know people that do tolerate tr cheating? Like, c can we not pretend like there's a lot of like previous generation of women that have had to tolerate cheating men right like a, probably a couple of your moms did like like probably like you don't the thing about marriage traditionally has its 
be, since its inception has usually been skewed in the favor of men, right? So like there was a time in like the 50s and you know where it was the idea was the man got to kind of go out and do his thing and the women was the was at home and that kind of flip-flopped over the years as women became more part of the workforce and affirmative action and things like that happened, right? So the dynamic changes, but to say that there aren't women that accept cheating in their relationships, y'all would be lying on your, your some of your moms and your grandmamas and pretending like that stuff didn't happen. And it does, it does, it did. And there's probably women today that unfortunately still do. I don't personally agree with it, but I think it's a part of life. Like there's what we want the world to be versus what the reality of the world is. And the reality of the world is unfortunately what Pearl is talking about that some women do have to accept cheating from men to be in relationships like some women do unfortunately have to do that but I don't I don't think it's right I don't think that's like that should be acceptable but to pretend like that hasn't been a part of marriage and you know it's that would be that's not cool that's not true I'm not saying that's not cool that's just not true so let me be generous let me be good faith here yeah. maybe what Pearl's saying is like I would allow a dynamic in which my man could step out and like, I yeah, would like if you're open, like okay. if it's a consensual. That's how to say that's not cheating. Sense. When you say cheating, that means that he is betraying your trust. Yes. That means that you guys have come to an agreement and this person's stepping outside of that. Now, if you're saying you want a one sided open relationship, just say that. Stop saying cheating if that's not what you mean. Yeah, but like the thing is, like, who wants their partner sleeping around with other people? Right? Like, there's. The, the percentage of the population that want, wants that is probably very small, right? So you have to think that, yeah, not a lot of people want that. But if you're saying you would allow somebody to cheat on you regularly, you're a loser. Oh, oh, I, I don't think it, I'm not gonna say somebody's a loser because they, because sometimes it's like, yo, you're in a relationship with somebody you've built up a life you built up a this and you built up that and that person sometimes like in the in the, if it's like a male in the relationship he has all the power he has all the money right you can't really leave because then you're penniless he's got everything in his favor right like these things are kind of skewed in the favor of men a lot of the times right so uh, it's a great it's a gray area and I, for people to be talking so definite about it it's 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 a little weird Okay, sorry. You want to get in a relationship, that's how I would see you. I would never take someone like that seriously. You can't even assert your own boundaries and keep something in terms of saying to your relationship solid. How are you going to educate your kids in terms of respecting themselves and respecting their dynamic? Oh, how are you as man. a Christian woman going to educate your children in that life while at the same time doing something that's complete as one of the worst sins in Christianity? Sorry, that's not going to work. That's not going to work. But anyways. Yeah, I mean, murdering somebody is a little worse, but I'm not a... Uh... I'm gonna fast forward a little bit just so I can get through some of this stuff. Um, their reactions, I think it's- Especially considering she's on her dad's dime. Number one, I'm sorry I'm not a brokey. My dad yells at me for accounting every month and I have to like organize like business expenses versus personal. Um, so my dad does yell at me when I pull out cash when you can't see what you spend on. Pearl reminds me of mm. Pearl from SpongeBob asking her dad, Mr. Krabs, for money. I went to start this cost in me. Here's the receipt. <laughs> Oh, daddy, you got me everything I wanted. She also reminds me of Mr. Krabs' daughter because he wants her to be a star and he's paying her way to do so. <laughs> that's my sorry, sorry. That was that's crazy. You know, Remember, that's crazy you know who Mr. Krabs' daughter is? Who? What she is? Well, oh, she's a whale. A whale. <laughs> Okay, bro, let's keep watching. I'm not gonna do that. Being a little YouTuber is tough. I'm really tired of being broke, Dad. Quarter mile. I can't mooch off of you forever. <laughs> This finally is tired. Give me a K, are you? I'm sure that Pearl understands the real world struggles of the average person from her 10 bedroom mansion. You guys wanna, you want the house tour? She's that braces. But clearly there is one thing that money cannot buy and that thing is taste. This video is from Pearl's channel called Wife School. In the first episode, she and Allie, known as Real Femme Sapien on YouTube, meet up to improve on Pearl's fashion, along with a male stylist who is supposed to be helping Pearl attract a husband by improving her outfits. So let's take a look at some of the outfits he puts her in. Perfect for a night out on the town. I'll do the full twirl. <laughs> 
This dress looks like a trash bag. This girl's messed up. Why? Why? I'm messed up. girls? Yeah. Yeah, she loves to be cool. She's loves to be Yeah. That's fire. Yeah. That's fire, bro. God. It's unflattering on her because it's showcasing her stomach, which is not what she should be highlighting. Not only that, but the black is washing her out, making her look very drained, especially considering the fact that she normally doesn't wear makeup. Going without makeup is a personal choice and it's fine, but if you're gonna do that, you need to know your color palette or you will look even more tired and sickly when you wear the wrong colors. I'm gonna go ahead and explain a little bit of color theory to you guys. Color season is a system that utilizes color theory to categorize where each person falls under in order to easily find out what colors look good on them. It's based on how their skin's undertones interact with other colors, and that involves how light or dark their skin is relative to the hair and eye color. If you have warm undertones in your skin, you'll look more yellow with green veins in your wrists. And if you're cool tone, you'll look more pinkish or reddish with blue veins on your wrists. Wrong. If you have a this warm- This going into the science of like, makeup and stuff like i had no idea about any of this stuff from undertone you should wear warm colors right, I, I understand color theory but like i don't i've never been like oh what would match perfect with my eyes <laughs> so this is something i'm not familiar with so if you have cool undertones, cool tone colors will My suit you best. You have to have a trained eye to be able to see it in some cases, but Pearl is cool toned as you can see with her pink flush in her skin. Pearl is either a light summer because of her cool tone coloration, or she would be a light spring because it's right next to light summer in the color wheel. It's a little hard to tell on the internet, but I know for sure she's on that side of the color wheel. If you look at someone and the first thing you see is their outfit's color instead of their own natural coloration and features, then you're wearing the wrong colors. Mm. Okay, so this this lady's actually like breaking like her fashion sense down. Like this is very inter this is a very interesting take that I've never seen this it's like I ain't never tried to roast like this is like a, a full this is the classiest roast I've ever seen. Right? Like this is a, this is a, if she pulled up her taxes next, I'd be like, yo, this is it's over, son. It's over. It's over. <laughs> The stylist doesn't apply this knowledge or even utilize basic color theory, and instead, he takes her to a cheap, fast fashion store like Zara. If he were actually good at his job, he would not be making these mistakes. If money were an issue, which clearly for Pearl, it's not, there are better budget-friendly places you could go to for higher quality clothes. For example, go thrifting. But yeah, clearly Pearl doesn't need to go thrifting. He could have just taken her to a higher end mall or a department store. Honestly, he just does her dirty the entire time. That's super cool. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I, I should confess something to you guys. This stylist, I know who he is. I met him while I was in London. He's actually a fan of ours. I, I just recognized him. I think this is Purple's full sabotage. <laughs> and so, yo, listen, Layton, if you're watching this, shout outs to you. That looks really nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Well, Kat, where would I go with this outfit? No. I think, you know, Wimbledon. I think that could be an afternoon. I think that could be an evening outfit. I mm -hmm. think you could, you could go out in Shoreditch wearing that. You could go to Canary Wharf to one of the bars down there. Mm. Meet some nice high value guy. He looks at her with a straight face, telling her she's going to meet a <laughs> high value guy in this outfit. <laughs> This is wrong. Hey, you remember this when we said wrong. women are way more nah, vicious than women? Wrong. This is wrong. This is messed I'm sorry. up. Sorry. This is messed up. That's just facts. Nah, this is messed up. Oh, it'll look nice going out for errands and having a nice dinner. He's just talking out of his ass. <laughs> so what do we rate this? One to ten. <laughs> I reckon it's a high eight. Like, I don't know how a stylist can honestly rate these outfits so high. Oh, that's good. Now, it, now, it's good. Good. now it's good. Now it's good. Spin, spin, not too fast. Okay. <laughs> he must think that she's a dumpster because he keeps putting her in trash bags. Top of my Bro. What? Kiss killer. All right. Yes. It's funny for a second. That's not cool. The stylist did it wrong. Fuck. This lady is... Oh, you know what? This one's actually not bad. This one actually looks decent. Yeah, I don't see the shape. I think the color. Angle it. 
Right. Yeah, this one. It's right. just because this she's kind of goofy too. A little bit. Like, she's a little because he's goofy. done it now like three or four times this in bad. this video, and he's not highlighting any of the flattering parts of her body, which defeats the entire purpose of having a stylist help you. There are several different body shapes, but for Pearl, she holds most of her weight proportionately in her arms and in her stomach. And that should have been taken into consideration when he was dressing her. Regardless, Man, if she loses this, weight, her proportion... See, this girl is cruel. Because she's t finding the most unflattering pic. Like, this stay girl the same is relative to her other body parts. Up. You can bring Super balance back to the body up. by drawing the attention to the most attractive body parts and away from the least attractive ones using color, patterns, hey, texture. This is very but of course, outfit. he would know that would if that. he actually knew what the hell he was doing as a stylist. It's honestly just so frustrating watching him not look smacks her. In this outfit, the skirt does not work. Pearl could have put on some jeans with a wider cut at the bottom to balance her upper, heavier half, or she could have put on a skirt that was A-line, high-waisted, and above the knee, but in middle of the thigh, not too short. Would have done the trick to bring attention to her legs and away from her stomach. Why I'm going in the back because it's too big. That is, though, no, side, side to side, that is, that's pretty cool. But... <laughs> this is not a stylist. He's a, he's a smear Sorry. merchant. These fucking outfits are jarring. <laughs> That is proper, like, New Year's Eve party type. Yes, should I wear for New Year's Eve you get it spitted? Really? Yes. Yes. Yeah. You see how he literally highlights her stomach with bright green sparkles? I, I can't take this anymore. And then he has the audacity. He must got it from Pearl. The audacity to suggest for her to tailor a Zara dress that won't survive one wash. <laughs> she's getting pearly. She's getting fucking Zara. But you know what? She's not just being petty. She's, she's speaking she, facts. She's not, she knows what she's talking about. That's the thing. She, she knows what she's talking what she's about. Talking so about I, I'll take it. You might not like the delivery, but yeah, I mean, she's just messing with it. And you got your pizza. It's still a pizza. Literally go watch a fashion channel. Go watch Ali Art on YouTube mm -hmm. and then come back to us when you actually know how to do your job. And it's not just her frumpy style that's preventing her from looks maxing. It's also her presentation with her hair. She's not bothering to style it. And many people are even commenting about it under her TikTok, telling her to brush her hair. Girl's hair just needs a haircut with some texturing to give it volume so that it's not so stuck and flat to her head. Her hair is very manageable. How is she going to teach other women how to attract a husband when she doesn't even put the minimal effort in her own appearance. No, I've noticed a lot of therapists are like older single women, and I'm kind of like, if you can't maintain a relationship, why would I take advice from you? That's just, it's a weird way to go about life. Like, there's a bunch of, don't, there's a bunch of people who don't have experience. They have good advice. Like, it's just a stupid thing to say. Like, it's one of those, it's just like one of those adages that like people say that things sound smart, but that shit is just, that's, that's not true. Like, there's sometimes some kids will say something that like, can be low-key wise and it's a freaking kid it's like where do you get that advice from you know so like i just ah people people want to be so like i'm right and i'm you know it does it doesn't do you any good it it, it pays more to be humble to be understanding to want to be you know to figure out what's going on and try to understand things rather than be some braggadocious asshole who wants to be right about anything because then people try to take you down every five every at every turn or like that's going to be everybody's thing like if you put yourself up to be this like big big person but you don't have the experience to back it up like the moment people get a chance to take you down they're gonna relish it they're gonna love it like they're gonna that's gonna be their thing right like so like it's important to go with more integral, like to be more, uh, to have more integrity when you do things and like just give people the the levity that you would expect for yourself. When that, when, and what I mean by that is like, you know, like you ain't gotta be an asshole to everybody. You ain't, you know, it's just, I, I tell my, my students this all the time. It's just, it doesn't pay, it doesn't cost you any extra to be kind to somebody. Like it literally will not cost you a penny. Nobody's gonna ask you for money. Like just being kind, just being an, a decent person, another human being will literally cost you zero dollars. All right, so let's finish this video. Let's wrap this up. And um, yeah, and don't forget to comment down below what you guys think of the video, how the, the you know, what their uh, response is, how they feel about, it. like I just, I just think it's an interesting uh, conversation to have. I think it's an interesting dynamic. Like these guys are very against what she is and what she preaches. And you know, it's a back and forth that's interesting for the internet. It's probably not gonna be interesting in like two years, but for now it's interesting. Let's finish it out and uh, I'll send you guys on your way.
But you vex. <laughs> so if she wants to be taken seriously, she should care about her overall presentation, including her fashion, hairstyle, her attitude, and bodily self-care. This situation is so deeply embarrassing and desperate. She has no business telling other women how to attract a husband. I wanted to give Pearl credit for trying to improve on her fashion, but she makes it really hard to do so when even months after this video, she continues to show up on camera with her hair undone, unbrushed, stuck to her head, no volume. That was not why. She looked like she balding in that photo. Yeah. Cause you could see her fucking it's just green. Because, it's just because it's greasy. It's, it's, it's dirty. Her hair is dirty. That's really why. So it clumps up to get in. There's no volume. Okay. Yes. All right. I, I think we watched enough of this. Yeah. If you guys want to see the rest of it, there's plenty of portions that we did. Yeah, I, I think I think that's enough as well. Um, thank you for watching this episode of Contentious Conversations. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe.